Contemporary theories of personality can be divided into three camps. Those that focus on behavioral and social cognitive perspectives, humanistic perspectives, and biological influences. Behaviorists believe that personality is determined by one's learning history. So personality traits that lead to positive consequences are likely to be upheld, while those that lead to negative consequences are not. So instead of personality being based on unconscious conflicts from childhood, as Freud believed, behaviorists believed that people's personality could develop throughout the life, and importantly, that people's behavior patterns could and would change in response to changes in the environment. Social learning theorists saw personality as arising from the interplay between thoughts, behaviors, and the environment. Psychologist Albert Bandura introduced a social cognitive theory focusing on the concept of reciprocal determinism, in which behavior, the environment, and internal personal factors interact to influence each other simultaneously. Another social learning theorist, Julian Rotter, introduced the idea of locus of control as another cognitive factor that influences personality development. This idea relates to beliefs about the power a person has over their own life. Someone with an external locus of control believes that people's outcomes are generally outside of their control and instead rely on other people, chance, or luck. For example, if they fail a test, they might say it's because the teacher made the test too hard. People with an internal locus of control believe that people are in control of their own outcomes. If they fail a test, it's because they didn't study hard enough. Humanistic models of personality focus on free will, a person's potential for growth and a desire for self-actualization, a person's drive to fulfill their full potential. This need for self-actualization is driven by a person's self-concept or their beliefs about who they are, as well as self-esteem, a person's positive feelings about themselves. This is most popularly represented in Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which is often presented as a pyramid. The main idea is that a person's basic needs, like their need for safety and health, must be met before they can achieve higher level needs like self-esteem and self-actualization. Psychologist Carl Rogers focused on the idea that people's growth could be impacted by factors such as genuineness, acceptance, and empathy. To this end, he championed the idea of unconditional positive regard, or the unqualified acceptance of the value of others regardless of their actions or behaviors. This has led to the positive psychology movement, which is the scientific study of happiness and life's purpose. The study of personality has also gained a lot from the study of biological factors. Twin studies help us disentangle the influence of biological and environmental factors by comparing the similarity of personal factors in identical and fraternal twins. If a trait has a strong genetic basis, Identical twins should be more similar to each other than non-identical twins, which is what these studies show us. Adoption studies help us solve the other part of the equation. If an adopted child is more like their biological parents than their adoptive parents, that implies that personality is genetically driven. But if they share more personality traits with their adoptive parents, that implies that environment plays more of a role.